Wow, you sound really lonely. I am. Earlier today, I burst into tears. Shh, Daddy's talking now. <laughs> Loneliness. The looming specter of Valentine's Day fast approaching. The two key ingredients to my favorite day of the year, February 13th, Desperation Day. Weddings were forbidden under ancient Roman law, so St. Valentine performed them in secret under threat of death. And right by St. Valentine's side was his best bro, St. Desperatius, there to pick off insecure bridesmaids. Whoa, check out that one. Her body is a perfect X. Play or play on, <laughs> Ivy. Oh, Jupiter, what are your plans for me? Fifteen and still unmarried. And I thought Pompeii was smoking. <laughs> February 13th, a magical night when a ten has the self-esteem of a four and the depraved enthusiasm of a two. Now, there is only one thing you can't do. Please say, widows. Wherever you are, or whoever you're under, you must get home alone by 11.59 p.m. Otherwise, you're on a date on Valentine's Day. Barney, Desperation Day assumes that all single women freak out about Valentine's Day, which we do not. Case in point, I will be spending February 13th with some lovely single ladies from work. Trolls. Who could care less about Valentine's Day. Lying trolls. And we will be celebrating the fact that we don't have to spend it with some dippy guy carting around roses and stuffed toys all night. Oh, no offense, Ted. And uh, none was taken until just then. Tomorrow's Valentine's. Don't you want to be at home on our couch, cuddling up under a warm blanket, watching the predator use his heat vision to stalk helpless prey? These girls are so hungry for male attention. It is like being a hunter and having the deer walk up, tie itself to the hood of your car, and beg to get mounted. Barney, this is Bev and Anna, uh, my coworkers and my friends. Bev, Anna, this is Barney, a high-functioning sociopath, and my ex. Enchanté. Hey, guys. So sorry I'm late. Oh, hey, Nora. Hey. Uh, Nora, this is Barney. You want to see Anna beat him in an arm wrestle? My elbow slipped. So you were an Olympic gymnast? Silver medal. Oh, sorry. Gold's the only thing that really counts. That's what my dad said. And she sticks the landing. <laughs> Why don't you start stretching, and I'll be right back. Hey, hey, sorry. Oh, hi. Quick, quick question. Yeah. Why aren't you wearing purple like your friends? Oh, I told them I forgot, but the truth is I'm kind of protesting their protest. Can you keep a secret? Sure. I love Valentine's Day. Oh, my gosh, me too. <laughs> Although, there is one difference between you and me. What's that? I'm not saying any of this to get in your pants. <laughs> All right, okay, I was playing you before, but I was really doing you a public service. It's February 13th, a day many are now calling Desperation Day. It's kind of a thing. And you, walking around saying you're a gooey romantic, it comes across a bit desperate. Who wants to spend Valentine's Day alone, distracting yourself from the fact that nobody loves you with some sad little activity? Um, or you could be in the 47th semi-annual laser tag tournament in Poughkeepsie. I have no idea what any of those words mean. Hey, I'm all stretched out. Here's the first thing you need to know about laser tag. Robin, where are you? Those Boy Scouts have grown up foot since last year. They're terrifying. Oh, yeah. Change your plans. Happy Valentine's Day. Hey, Barney. Robin told me to meet you guys here. And that's how, for the first time in his life, Barney Stinson wound up on a date on Valentine's Day. <laughs> you will be avenged.
Daddy's home. 